Hi, I'm Matthew, core developer at Streamer. In this screencast series, we will create a data union and we will integrate it into an end user app. I'll break down the process into two videos. In this first video, using Streamer Core, we will deploy the data union contract onto the Ethereum mainnet. And in the second video, we will integrate the, data, the deployed data union into an app and then list that data union on the stream marketplace. The app we'll be integrating with is a simple rock, paper, scissors game, which will be a publicly accessible JS bin. The users will be players of the game and the data they generate will be their choice of move, either rock, paper, or scissors. But before we get into it, let's quickly run through the prerequisites. As you can see, I am already logged into the core app at streamer.network and so to follow along you will need a streamer account that is connected to an ethereum account that has some eth in it for the transactions that we'll be making okay so if you need any help with that please uh, refer to the getting started section of our docs so now we're ready to make our data union. I'm on the streams page of the core app, which will be our starting point. For a rock, paper, scissors app, the data union is going to be comprised of just a single stream, but we could have as many streams as we like in the union, and we can make updates to the streams even after the contract has been deployed. Let's create that stream by selecting create stream. And let's call this stream player moves. We can now uh, save and exit the stream editor and come back to it later. Next we'll navigate to the product section. We'll select create and we'll choose data union as the product type. I'll give this data union a name, rock, paper, scissors. Let's add a cover image. Select apply. Let's give it a quick description, something like this. Let's select the stream that we just created, player moves. And we'll set a price for the time-based subscription of our data union. Uh, I'll set this one to five data per day. Okay, I'll choose, let's say, the sports category. And I'm going to set my admin fee to 10%. It means that I'll be sharing 90% of the revenue generated to the members of the data union that will be producing the data. I can skip the optional fields for now. Uh, I don't need any whitelisting or any changes to the terms of use. And in the second video, we'll uh, talk about the generation of the shared secret, but uh, that'll happen after we deploy the contract, which we'll do right now. So with the form completed, I'll select continue, which will launch a wizard explaining the next steps. I can click next through these, and finally to deploy. That will activate MetaMask with the transaction details. I'm going to hit confirm and it's telling me that the transaction will be confirmed in about 19 seconds. So let's uh, close off this video now with the data union deploying and in the second video we will have a deployed data union and we're going to integrate it into our app.